Hey guys, just a quick update for this video and for the rest of the Dark End series. I managed to wrap up recording the mod in about a 3-4 to four hour long recording session today, hoping to get ahead and finish up the mod so I had a little breathing room for next week. And by the end of this recording session, I was really ready to be done with the mod because the last segment really really dragged on and the boss fights were next to impossible. It was after this recording, when I went to edit the videos, that I realized that I had made a mistake. For anyone familiar with Windows 10, I'm sure you know the absolute annoyance that Windows 10 updates can be. Unfortunately for me, the most recent update reset some of my audio settings, including the audio sources for my recording program, OBS. I didn't notice that I did not have any audio captured during that recording until I went to edit the videos. Now, this mistake is absolutely on me, and I own up to that fact. I should have checked the waveforms at the start of the recording session. Unfortunately, I do not have the time to re-record these episodes, especially given how much the final segment of the mod drags on. Instead, I'll be adding background music to try and make up for the lack of game audio, and will edit down these videos even more to try and condense these videos into what you really really need to see to understand the mod and its sequence of events. When you see the final bosses of this mod, I think you'll understand why I really don't want to re-record this, even if I had the time. Sorry about this, but lesson learned. Double check your audio sources. As always, thank you guys for watching. Let's get to it. So I'm no longer in the castle. I spent a long time looking around the castle, and really didn't find anything. But I came back to... The sewers. I came back to the catacombs under the church. Because there was all the mention of the oak tree. And I wasn't sure which oak tree I was looking for. But there was the big, big one right outside the church. And I was like, alright, let me try getting to that. And this seems like a good sign. Oh, yep, that, okay, yep, I'm gonna say this is a good sign. I'm going to say this is a very, very good sign. Okay, I'm on fire. I'm on fire. You're on fire. I'm on fire. The fire for everyone. I understand. Going for the kill. Oh, I got the one behind him. Not even the one I was right in front of. Wait. Dead. Staggered. Good. No, don't heal. Don't heal. It's cheating. That's cheating. Oof. Now, I would imagine I have to destroy the tree. Or destroy something down here that is leading to... You know, all the darkness leading to the plague. That is locked. Wherever that leads, that is... Oh, that is locked down. But I would imagine this is all Pretorius' fault. Boom. I was trying to find his body. I was trying to find the Ascendant's body. Because he had the sewer key. Which is going to be how I get out of here. But I don't know if I want to leave just yet. Uh, are we going to fight more of those creepy things? More of the, uh, the necrophages or whatever they were? Oh man, I didn't realize how big this was going to be. Oh, this is already open? Have I been here? Am I already back in the castle? No, I couldn't be. No, this is still in the sewers. No, I'm not in the castle. I'm still in the sewers. Huh. How big is this place? Where am I going? I'm just going down. Let's go down. I'm starting to see how everything kind of like links back together in this sewer system. I found the caverns that I was previously in. I found the segments of the sewers that I was previously in before I made it to the boss area. So it's just a thing of given how kind of winding this area is, yeah, it's easy to see how I missed the boss section. Because I think I was more focus on getting out of here and finding a way out that I wasn't like, okay, let me go down every nook and cranny. Is this the way out then? It is. Okay. 
And where did this place me? Right by the refuge. Okay. Okay. I'm saying that a lot, aren't I? Just, okay, okay, okay. But that's good. Like, now we've taken care of the oak tree. The oak tree, the sap was causing issues. The sap caused the corruption. It caused, not the plague itself, because the plague was already here, but it definitely didn't help. Like, we were already contending with the plague, but the sap from the oak tree was making things worse. Well, in that case, I think now we head back to the ancient bridge. I think now we head across into Dark End itself. Because I have the key from the dragon, and I'm pretty sure that is what the key is for. What that gem from the dragon was for. But I guess we'll see. Alright, moment of truth. That did it. Ancient Tower Ruins Key. Yep, that's the one I got off the dragon. Hello? Anybody? Oh, hi. Is there someone behind me? Because I... Oh, God. Okay. There's an archer somewhere. I heard that arrow. Oh, I'm gonna die. I am gonna die. Oh, that's... Oh, that's... That's not something I can use. Because I know my solution to all this is just Fusor dot everyone everywhere, but I'm not gonna resort to that. That's my normal go-to for everything. Because it's just like the easy go-to. Oh, just throw people off the ledge? Yeah, great. No, we're not gonna make it that simple. What was that? Oh! Oh, where did you come from? I was just busy shooting at a sentinel. Oh, the fall damage killed him. Ooh. I don't know where he came from. He was just right behind me. Oh, I'm not okay with that. This I like, just using kind of debris and rubble and parts of the ruins to have to like find your way around the map to climb up to where you need to get. Like they did a very good job with pathing in this mod. They did a really good job with making the paths and making it look natural how you would get around the map. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get up there. That, that You can see from the red flag, that's important. I know some people say avoid red flags, but me, I'm going right towards it. I feel like I have to. Sentry Keeper. So you're more important than the rank-and-file sentries. Upper Terrace Key. Good. <laughs> hey, your Keeper's dead. Get out of here. I don't need you anymore. Oh, there it is. That's the artifact. That's what we need to reach. All right, I, I see you over there. <laughs> I also am willing to bet it's not going to be as simple as, oh, grab the stone and I go home. That seems a little too straightforward right now. I feel like I'm going to need to go down. I feel like I need to go down there. There's so much down there. Okay, I know you're shooting at me. I'm just trying to see if I can go this way. No. I don't think they want you to jump up this way. I think it's supposed to be a thing of, oh, look how close you are. But no, you have to go around the other way. Just lull you into that false sense of security, that false sense of progress. Yeah, it looks like we'll be able to get around this way. Probably one of those things where it's a 50-50 shot of which way to go to get to the platform, and I just chose the wrong one. Oh, we made it. Alright, I'm not dealing with you yet. I'm dealing with the archers first. Alright, I'm a little bit safer up here. 
course that leads into ruins, not out of here. Okay, the big guy's over there. Also, I have a feeling that the, uh, the terrace key that I got off the keeper was just for that door that was already open when I fought the other sentries. What did those subtitles just say? I saw it say something, but I don't know what it said. Ah, oh, you had nothing for me? No cool gear? I keep on hoping all of you guys are going to have the really, really cool gear. Anything on you? Alright. Tower Ruins. Now, where are we? Oh, this is beautiful. Okay. This is absolutely stunning. Well, I have a feeling let's head for the, uh, the ominous red doorway down there. Which means... I could just jump around and skip a ton of stuff, but no, we're going to walk through. We got sentries, I see a couple of those. Alright. Oh, now we got lightning sentries. They were all ice before. Yeah, let's see. Or this- oh! I didn't see you back there. You probably feel a little ignored. I didn't even know you were here. I mean, I'll, I'll kill you all the same. <laughs> Do you feel like an equal now? See? I hate you just as much as I hate all the others. Is there another sentry there? Because I just saw more electricity. Alright, I think we're almost there. Someone... Either up or down. I don't know which one. Where'd that come from? Oh, I see him. He's up there. Okay. Just another archer. That's fine. Oh, a night keeper. Well, the keepers usually have keys. So killing him, I should have... The key that I need to progress. I do like how the different sections seem to have different enemies. So, outside the deep tower ruins, they seem to have more frost-based abilities. In here, they have more shock abilities. And I don't think I could see kind of the blue in their eyes for the enemies outside. It's a minor touch, but I really, really like it. Oh god, alright. I can't imagine playing this at level 15. Because I know the mod says level 15 and up, but I can't imagine playing on that low level of a character for this mod. Ancient Tower Passage Key. Boom. Hello? Oh! Hi. Is that the same model they use for Jigalag? No, not entirely. They, I say they, but... <laughs> that has been used for Jigalag, I would say. Yeah, I think it's just similar. Take out the sentries first. Keep my distance from him as much as I can, because the sentries are just going to whittle down my health if I don't deal with them first. 
Yeah, I see you, I see you. Yeah, that's right, you raise your sword. Wait, his sword disappeared for a second. Did you see that? Oh, he's got a lot of health. Can I stagger him? A little bit. I like doing this fight in 3D right now. In 3D, in third person, because I can see a little bit more of the fight. And then, you know, see my cool-ass dragon aspect, too. Okay, staggered him. And... Boom. That wasn't too bad. That, admittedly, was not too, too bad. Anything in... Oh! Oh, stairs! Where the hell does this lead? Oh, he doesn't have anything. I was gonna search him for a note. Oh! Clunt? Chloranthy ring? An ancient ring of unknown origin. Hastens the regeneration of stamina. Ooh. These rings are beautiful. I really, really like the rings. I really, really like these unique items. Which I believe some of them are from Dark Souls directly. But they are beautiful. Tower Ruins Deeps. Like a new section of the Tower Ruins? We're back to where I was before. Oh yeah, nope. New section. New section. I should have figured. I see the doorway. Is there someone in the doorway? No. Oh! Oh! We got lava now. Hmm. We might have a little bit of a jumping section. It looks like we... Oh, oh, okay. Who hit me? Who hit me? Up there? You? Cool. Thanks. We might need to get down there and go across the lava. It's hard to say. Like, jump from block to block. But that's kind of my first guess right now. Can I knock him into the lava? Yeah, there you go! I know you're shooting me with your arrows. It's fine, kind of. You hurt. Also, like I said, the first area, the first section, frost enemies. Second section, shock enemies. This section, flame enemies. So I do like that. Yeah, it's getting a little hot in here. Oh, it's getting very warm. Oh, 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 oh! I'm sorry, I was admiring the lava. Wait, 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 wait. I know I said I didn't want to use Fusorda too much, but I gotta... I gotta shout him into the... Fi uh, the lava. Nope, okay. Only staggers him. I had a feeling that might happen. I had a feeling he might not fly. I wanted to try anyway. I wanted to see if I could throw him into the lava. Because I was about to test it and see if it burned me. And then he presented the perfect opportunity to test on him. But he didn't want to. I did say that I think we would have to jump across the platforms. So do I want to go that way, or that way? That is the question. Ooh, can I even get over there? Because I can very clearly get to that doorway right there. If I go up and around this way, it looks like I can get to that far side. 
I almost jumped down there, I was just assuming that it would be safe. Oh, I just looked and I went, nope, never mind. I just had this moment of, huh? Just in my mind right before I jumped. It's very possible I still have to go to that other doorway over there. It's very, very likely that I still need to. Oh god, more jumping. More jumping for me. I'm on fire. Oh! Oh! Uh, ooh! Ooh! Ugh! An ancient flame demon. Yeah. Oh, it looks more like blood than flame. Well, blood, but the blood's also on fire. Which, that's a terrifying idea. Remember I just said there weren't really jumping sections? <laughs> I was wrong. I spoke too soon. Oh. Oh! Oh god, oh god, I gotta be careful here. I can't just willy-nilly walk backwards anymore. Oh, he resisted ice form. Well, I was hoping to cool him down a little bit, you know? Okay, let's knock you in. Let's knock you in. Good. If I can just knock people into the lava, that's gonna be my best bet. Just keep on knocking him back. There. Nope. Keep going. Good. Everyone's getting lava. So I want to get over there. Can he not get to me? Oh, because it's not a straight path. He can't walk to me. He can't jump to me. Oh, I thought this was going to be one of the eyes, one of the little relics that would take me to the next zone. I see red and I get excited. I see red and I think that I'm at the end. 